afternoon to all beautiful viewers from around the world. Welcome to the first episode of the EUL Colors of the Rainbow for this academic year 2014-2015. This year I wanted to start with a special program. There are very many special reasons why I wanted to start with a special program and I would like to share this with you. First of all, I'm very proud to say that this year we have a very good recruiting student number of around over 5,000 students on campus. And more importantly for me, we have increased the number of countries that have been enrolled to the European University of Lefke. Before, we had international students coming from 38 different countries, whereas this year we have students coming from 44 different countries. And this is actually a very beautiful and rewarding improvement for us. We have students coming in from Benin, Indonesia, Rwanda, Egypt, Uzbekistan and many more countries. And for us this means new beautiful faces and new beautiful cultures walking on campus. And the second important thing for us this year is that we are celebrating our 25th anniversary. So everything we do this year will be extraordinary. As you know, I like to do programs introducing different cultures that actually are studying here on campus. But today, I have, very, I have a very special guest with me and I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you our very special guest uh, who has taken her time, her precious time, to visit us here at the European University of Lefke. Shall we all meet her? Welcome, Madame. Welcome to North Cyprus and welcome to the European University of Lefke. Thank you very much. Can we first, uh, first of all learn who you are, your name please? I am Idoko Constance Eberechuku. Very nice to meet you, Madame. Uh, and is it your first time here in North Cyprus? Yes, yes. This yes. is my first time I've been to this part of the world. Very good. And how do you like it so far? It's a very beautiful place, very peaceful, uh -huh. homely. In fact, it's fantastic. I love the place. Good. Yes. Very good. And your mission for being here, what is your mission? Let's talk about that a little bit. You are here to... Um, my mission here is that there's a kind of relationship, academic collaboration mm -hmm. between my own university and Euro uh, European University here in Lepke. Very good. That's why I'm here. Very good. And I do believe that you have just recently signed a, a memorandum of understanding yes. with our university. Yes, yes. Very good. We just signed that. Excellent and excellent. So let's talk about exactly what's going to happen within this uh, frame of Memorandum of Understanding. Um, we have staff and student exchange programs, I do believe. Yes. And uh, project exchange programs. Yes. And maybe um, transfer opportunities from your university to, to our university as yes. well. Yes. Yes. Um, can you give us the names of the universities that uh, for you are coming, you are representing? Okay, I'm coming from uh, Enugu State University of Science and Technology. Okay. Enugu State in uh, Nigeria. Okay, Enugu State. And uh -huh. personally, I belong to the Department of Science and Computer Education. Oh, well done. I am mm -hmm. an Associate Professor of Science Education. Oh, very pleased to meet you. I'm very proud to have you here in Lefke. Thank you. So, what do you think about the campus? I mean, um, is it very different from your campuses? Or is it similar? There are, I'm sure there are many similarities as well. Um, it is different and similar at the yeah. same time. Like, <laughs> like Riley said, yes. There are lots of things which we have in common, like mm -hmm. faculties, mm -hmm. departments, method of learning, the curricula and various aspects. Yes. Then it's also different in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. The weather for one. The weather. It's not yes. the same. <laughs> yes. The weather for one is uh -huh. not the same. Again, student population. Mm -hmm. It seems we have more there. Our universities are so crowded, crowded, yes, congested. Sure. Uh -huh. Maybe because of the population of the Absolutely. country and Absolutely. some other things. Yeah. Uh, another thing I found out the facilities are not quite the same. Mm -hmm. I found there are a number of areas where here in Lefko we have the state of the art. Very the good. in thing that's uh -huh. available here. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. quite appreciate that because um, I was opportuned to go around yes. to see things for myself. Uh -huh. So the laboratories, 
the workshops and other facilities they are wonderful the beautiful okay. libraries and the reading rooms auditorium mm -hmm. in fact there are lots of very impressive things I actually see. Yeah. Well, I'm very glad that you, your uh, visit here was, I'm sure, very productive. And, and I'm sure that uh, with some really good hard work and effort, we're going to make this collaboration work, I do believe. Um, because there is a very good opportunity for students from Africa, from around the world. Like I said in my introductory, I mean, we have students coming in from 44 different countries. And North Cyprus seems to be developing very rapidly in higher education. And uh, the students have a chance to get a good quality education here on campus uh, in a very peaceful environment. And because we are not so big, as you said, and crowded, students have actually a one-on-one -on -one contact. Interaction you know, with the yeah, lecturers. Yeah, with yes. their lecturers, which is very important yes. while throughout the learning process as well, I believe. So all in all, it's, it's, it looks positive, doesn't it? Very, and very positive. exciting. <laughs> very positive. At least uh, my interaction with the students, the few I've been able to interact with, uh, the message is clear. It's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. They've told me how conducive, how friendly, mm -hmm. and how adequate the environment is. They have the facilities with which mm -hmm. to learn. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, it, down there we talk about the, uh, the concept of teaching. This has changed. Mm -hmm. This is not the time when you uh, 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 fill heads of people with knowledge. Mm -hmm. Rather, you create conducive environment right. in which people will learn. Right. You help people learn to learn. That Absolutely. is the issue. Mm -hmm. And the facilities here are just that the right type of things required that will enable the learners learn. You don't force people to learn. Absolutely. Like in my place, they say that you can take a horse to the stream, but you cannot force it to drink. Right. So you can take a child to the school, but when the facilities, the environment is not conducive for that child to learn, the child will not learn. Right. But here, what they require to learn. I've seen them there available. Good. Yes. Good. And I'm and I'm always arguing at the fact that, you know, I'm I'm I can't express more how important it is for a student to be able to learn abroad as well. Because not only are they learning in their academics, but they're learning in everyday life. And they're learning how to convert with other cultures and, yes. and uh, learn and teach from each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there is, that is another very important aspect of this really relationship. Because now, when people, when you hear about other people and their culture, mm -hmm. you might feel that they are, they are not normal, mm -hmm. based on some of the things you hear might not be true. Mm -hmm. But now, when there's opportunity for them to come together, mm -hmm. people from 44 different countries, yes. seeing people, their language, mm -hmm. their culture, mm -hmm. their attire, their dressing, and everything. Mm -hmm. By Allah, you're about to appreciate, oh, so the, all these people have uh, equally good as mine, or even better, mm -hmm. they are bound to learn. Yes. And I think one important thing that will be achieved from this, there will be peace in the world. Absolutely. When we come to understand ourselves better, Absolutely. interact better, Absolutely. know that that person is important mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. just I am important to him. Absolutely. We should see ourselves as complementary parts Absolutely. of the, totally of the entire system. You. And the result will be peace. Peace. Oneness, yes, unity, unity. There'll be cross fertilization of ideas, mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. There are things you have, I don't have, mm -hmm. and there are things I have, you don't have. When we exchange, absolutely, I mean, there'll be progress, absolutely, there'll be growth, there'll be better understanding. Yes, a lot of things we fight over will be things that will unite us. Mm -hmm. That's my thinking. Absolutely. Yes. I couldn't have said it better myself, yes. you know, and I'm very proud to have you here on campus. Thank you. And I'm very proud to sign uh, a very good, uh, make a good start um, of a very good beginning, and I'm sure which will grow in very short period of time, and that we will do progress together. Yes. 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 I do believe so. Yes. And most importantly, like you said, uh, the students will learn and, and it will end as in peace and harmony. It cannot go any wrong from that. You know, so things like this are very important in today's global world. Very, very, yes. Very important. Well, thank you very much for coming today.
Um, and like I said, we're, we're very happy to have people like you on campus all the time. Our university is growing rapidly and we have to. The whole world is growing rapidly. You yes. know, you have to learn how to keep up with the pace. Yes. You know, because science and technology is rapidly growing very and improving fast rate. And, yes. and at a very fast rate. And yes. uh, projects like this actually help with keeping up with the, the rapid growth in today's world. And I'm also here to commend the rate at which this university is growing. I've heard when it started, and uh, from what I've seen, already done, what I've seen that is happening, the rate at which is going to, I mean, it's doing wonderfully well. It's growing very fast, developing. And I also appreciate the fact that the technology Mm -hmm. that is actually pulling the world mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. You have it here. Mm -hmm. You have enough of it here. Yes. Yes. Very modern techniques of doing things because I went around, saw the teachers teaching, the type of uh, teaching approaches, okay. strategies employed, mm -hmm. the facilities there. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are the things that technology wants Absolutely. to be used and is, is actually working here. I'm very happy about that. Good, good. I'm Going happy back about a little that. bit on the surrounding, I mean you had, the, you had the chance to walk around the university and the campus and the facilities here mm -hmm. and um, the culture is very different uh, from your culture I'm sure but you see that the people here are very um, we have lots of hospitality. I mean, we, we do concentrate on welcoming people as well. We try to anyway. Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah. What I'll say about it, let me say that I was disappointed. Yes. When I was coming, actually, I was afraid. How will I will cope. I don't know these people, they don't know me, I've never been there. I don't know their language, their food. I was kind of afraid, but to my surprise, the welcome, the reception, so cordial, so friendly, and above all, I enjoyed their meal. Good. Yes, <laughs> So you I like the Turkish Cypriot cuisine yes, as well. Beautiful, <laughs> That's nice. Rich, natural, uh -huh. fresh food. That's right? Good. Yes. Added to the very friendly weather. Mm -hmm. Very clement, peaceful weather. And this weather is one of the things I quite appreciate with respect to its being conducive for teaching and learning. In fact, I wish I had the time to stay longer. Well, maybe next time, Dr. Honest, Dr. I will. Yeah. I will. <laughs> if I have the opportunity, I won't hesitate. Yes, for it's sure. Very, if I actually like to stay here longer, mm. to spend longer time, but uh, it will happen, I hope. I hope so. I well, believe yeah, that. I understand. With very uh, hard-working people as yourselves, it's very difficult because I know you're always on the go, oh, yes. uh, one project to another to another, so yes. uh, you know, it's like that in the higher education mm -hmm. uh, sector, let's say, uh, because that's the way it is. Especially like we said, we have academics. to keep up yes, yes. for academics. Yes. Yes. But nevertheless, welcome again. We're Thank very happy very to have you here. Thank you very and much. And we are very proud to sign a memorandum of understanding uh, you. with your uh, two establishments that you are representing. And I'm sure in a very short period of time, we will have growth in these yes. memorandum of understandings. Yes. And next time, hopefully, when you do come, you will have the chance to visit all the whole of the island as well. Aye, <laughs> I can't wait for that opportunity yeah. to come. I wish I can stay on and on. Well, but next so time. At least now you've got a little bit of a taste of it and you, the seeing of it, the feeling of it. So you can come freely. You, you know that you have a second home here at Dr. Yes. Dr. And I'll carry the good news back home. Ah, most Tell importantly them. for us. But I'm also proud to say that I'll be expecting a return visit. Ah, I hope so. So that we share what we have out there. I hope so. You know the type of things uh -huh. we have there. Uh, well, so, that's that's a must to be honest with you. I mean, if you have a, if you want to have a strong relation, you have to keep the collaboration mm -hmm. and the cooperation continuously yes, growing. Yes. And you know, back and forth, I'm sure there will be a few of that. Thank you. Thank you very much for being my first guest for this academic year. <laughs> and that's another special thanks to you and I wish you great success in all the future projects that you do. Thank, Thank you very you. much. I'm Thank very you. grateful. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a very special episode of the EUL Colors of the Rainbow. Thank you very much for being here and sharing with us this special moment, and see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>